my name is Deborah Murphy and I'm the CEO of RDA Illawarra. We're here to talk to our local MPs about the Illawarra and our economic situation given COVID-19. Today I'm joined by the Honourable Sharon Bird, MP, who is a federal member for Cunningham. Sharon was first elected in 2004 and I've had the pleasure of working with her for about 15 years now. So welcome Sharon. Hi Deb, thanks. It's lovely to be with you. Um, Sharon, we've just got a couple of questions. The first one I'd like to ask you um, is, what are your thoughts on the current situation that we're in economically in the region? Yeah, I um, mean, there is no doubt um, that it is a major challenge for the nation, but for our region too. Um, of course, yesterday we saw the release of the ABS labour force figures. Um, while we don't yet have the regional breakdown, uh, I see no reason to assume anything but our story will be similar to the national story. Um, so, of course, you've got the, the um, significant increase in people who are unemployed under the traditional definition of that. Uh, but worryingly, you also saw a very significant drop in the number of people who are either even bothering to look for work um, so a lot of drop out in the participation rate, um, huge numbers of people who are not getting enough hours, so they're still connected to work, but they're not getting enough hours um, to sustain, you know, their family and their mortgage and all those sorts of things. Uh, so when you add all that up, it is an extraordinary um, effect that's been had on employment in our economy and obviously significantly that has been affected by the fact we've had to take action on the pandemic um, but also uh, I think we need to be very cognizant particularly uh, in our region uh, that both domestic demand and international um, links we are a, a trading nation and a nation that is very closely connected to um, incoming tourism and students, um, that this is going to have a longer term effect and we need to be working to prepare for that uh, and keep people connected, not only to work, but to um, job programs and education that set them up um, to be able to get work in the areas where those opportunities will be. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been a massive impact on our, our community. Um, and, and you touched on something there that's really important. So what, what do you think is critical to our recovery stage? So our mm. economic recovery, what's, what's important for us in, in our area to consider most? Yeah, well, look, I think, um, first of all, there are some things government can do uh, and I'd call on them to do. So the classic thing uh, in times like this, where you've got such an economic hit, uh, is to ensure the government is investing into regions like ours um, in a number of ways. One is into education training. Um, as I said, getting people connected to the skills that are actually going to have uh, an opportunity for them to have employment. The other is um, short-term injection into job creation type opportunities. Um, myself and Stephen have talked about, you know, um, tourism programs in terms of uh, capital works, um, road and rail investments, those sorts of things that actually uh, create jobs in themselves, but also leave behind infrastructure and skills that are an investment for the longer term. Uh, and so certainly I think that's something government can do. At the local level, I think it's really important that we have a, a really good understanding of where our opportunities are. Um, and I think, you know, for example, we know tourism and hospitality have been hit. Well, we are an ideally placed um, to take up the domestic travel demand that will arise as people are able to move around more mm -hmm. um, and are looking for somewhere to have a, you know, a holiday or a long weekend and um, we're well placed for that. So to be able to, you know, gear ourselves up and look at what we need to do to maximise that, I think is really important. Um, I think also locally, we need to build on the massive capital, uh, human capital that has arisen during this time with people, you know, using technology like you are today um, to have conversations or, um, you know, Facebook business groups that are saying, here's our local businesses, let's get out and support them, rather than see that as an aspect of the crisis period, um, let's work out ways we can build that to be a more permanent feature 
of our local economy. So I think there are a couple of things that we could focus on, um, you know, as locals and also obviously lobbying government around um, good investments that would make a difference. Yeah, great ideas. Is there anything else that you think we, we could be doing at this time or, or you know, yeah. prepare us for the future beyond what you've just talked about with tourism or, or infrastructure or, or labour sort of, um, you know, using labour wisely at the moment? Yeah. What yeah. Else? Anything else? Look, I think um, the only... The only other thing I would add to both the skills and, and human capital and the short shorter term investment is I am worried about the housing sector. Um, you know, construction and housing is an important part of our local economy. Uh, and I, one thing that I'm, I always carry as a, as a uh, very strong lesson from the global financial crisis period uh, was the government investment into social and community housing. Um, you know, at that time I went around and met uh, building companies and, um, you know, small business builders who said to me time and time again, you know, I was about to lay off my premises and um, because of this work I've been able to keep them on. And so I think for us to, as a, as a region, um, to be lobbying governments about that aspect is going to be really important too, uh, not only to creating jobs uh, in the meantime, we private sector might be doing less construction and we need to see government in that space, uh, but also for the next generation, we need those skills to be developed. And um, you know me, Deb, I'm very passionate about apprenticeships. Yeah. Um, to be able to keep that going, I think is going to be really important as well. Yeah. All right. Well, that's great. Thanks so much, Sharon. Thanks for sharing all your views with us. And um, we're, we're going to be pulling all those into some type of a, a plan and, um, and no doubt we'll be continuing to collaborate and, and work with you on, um, on what we can do to help the region to recover. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much for joining us, Sharon. No problem. Lovely to talk.